This is Bob, inventor of the brick. But for short, his friends called him Waldo Obadiah Bartholomew Verschlocken III. And a half. Waldo Obadiah Bartholomew Verschlocken III and a half invented the brick because he wanted something really heavy to throw at people who he didn't like. It was the perfect creation. Aside from his hair, his bricks were his new favorite things. But then one day he realized his bricks could serve a new purpose. He realized that by stacking one brick on top of another, he could make it into a hat and put it on his head and pretend he was Abraham Lincoln. But then he had the most brilliantest idea in the history of the world, which would revolutionize the construction industry. He realized that by stacking one brick on top of another, he could make a gourmet sandwich. Although Obadiah Bartholomew Rishlock in the third and a half loved his idea. But then his brother said, I have an idea. By stacking one brick on top of another, we could build tall walls and big buildings that will stand for centuries. It will change the world as we know it. Waldo Obadiah Bartholomew Verschlock in the third and a half said, That's stupid. Who would ever buy that? But then one of his friends said, I have an idea. By stacking one brick on top of another, we could build tall walls and big buildings that will stand for centuries. It will change the world as we know it. Waldo Badab Bartholomew Verschlock in the third and a half thought that was genius. So he mass produced to them and he got rich, and his friend also got rich for coming up with such an original idea. Waldo Badab Bartholomew Verschlock in the third was happy about his creation, but also partly sad because he still wanted to fulfill his dream of having heavy things to throw at people. That's when he invented the cinder block.